So I hope you enjoyed the question. Before I jump to the answer, let's first talk about what sound really is to human beings. Sound is produced when this really thin membrane inside your ear called the eardrum starts to vibrate and it moves tiny bones inside your ear which then gives signals to your brain and then that's what we hear as sound. But let's do a very quick experiment that's called a mechanical eardrum and then by through that you should be able to understand what actually is happening here. So for this experiment all I need is a regular plastic bag a bowl and I've stretched the plastic bag on top of the bowl right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take lots of salt this is just normal salt and I'm going to sprinkle it on top of the bowl last piece is to play a song on your phone I'm going to play Kala Chashma What did you see in the experiment? What you saw was that a very thin film of plastic when excited by sound started to vibrate. So what sound really is, is vibration of air that then is transmitted to the membrane which is your eardrum and that's what you hear. So now let's consider each of the three options and of course the option that said something else. So for the first option, I said that the stone flew out with great velocity and that's why you heard that bang sound. Now, to think about this, imagine a pitcher throwing a ball really fast. Does a ball actually make any sound? Absolutely not. The only sound you hear is when the bat hits the ball and that crack sound is what you hear in baseball or in cricket. Now, talk about the second option, which was the cardboard ripping. And this many people thought was what was happening. But to just do a thought experiment, right? Tear a piece of paper. It produces barely any sound. Tear it faster, does it produce more sound? Barely, barely more, right? So imagining that the cardboard would tear apart with so much force so as to produce the big bang sound doesn't really make a lot of sense. So now to the answer. If you look at gunpowder and I light it, and this is exactly what I'm going to do now. I've made a straight line of gunpowder and I'm going to light one end of it with a match. And let's see what happens. What did you see? You saw a very, very, and many would call it an explosive reaction, right? The gunpowder caught on fire very quickly. It produced a lot of gas and a lot of heat. But did it produce any sound at all? Almost none. Not enough to create a big bang noise. So obviously, even though the gunpowder is produce, producing a lot of energy and a lot of gas, it's not really producing the big bang sound or the big boom sound that we talked about. So what's really going on? What's going on here is like almost any other sound, the boom noise you hear when a bomb goes off is actually the air vibrating. And how does this come to be? The easiest way to imagine this is imagine a pressure cooker, right? You start boiling water in it and gradually pressure builds up inside the pressure cooker and then eventually you hear the whistle go off right which is a release of pressure the same mechanic is at play inside the bomb in the tiny cardboard cylinder you're you know you're actually igniting a fair amount of gunpowder and when that gunpowder burns it produces a lot of gas and a lot of heat and all of that gets trapped inside the cylinder creating more and more pressure and when the cardboard finally rips apart and you know all of this happens in just about a second all of that pressure is released and when so much pressure is released, it actually creates something called a compression wave. So the pressure to the air expands and contracts and expands and contracts. And that wave reaches your ear and causes you to hear the big bang sound. So now that we know the option was D is something else and actually a compression wave, what should you take home from this? One is of course an understanding of what sound is, but also an understanding of what's happening to your own body. Every time you hear a sound, your eardrum is vibrating. And if you hear sounds that are too loud or too harsh, you might actually rupture your eardrum and cause damage that cannot be repaired. So, so my only advice to you is continue to love science, but also be very safe and use ear protection this Diwali. Have a very happy festive season.